The report centers on a decision by the government in 2007 to cancel a mining lease that had been awarded to Dura Cement Limited. The cancellation led to the company obtaining $16.4 million, about shillings a quarter billion in compensation from government. The report proposes that Kano Mwesje, who was then head of National Enterprise Corporation, should be held liable for the extension of the initial four-year mine lease of Dura to 19 years without any development, which act saw so the country cough out a quarter billion when Hima took the contract. The report says Kano Mwesje, as head of NEC, introduced Dura to President Uwari Museveni and made him believe it, though the Kano, together with another opposition legislator, say the person to blame is the former commissioner to the Ministry of Energy, Ewan Wandera, who handled the lease transfer. Rajesh Shirawal came into this country on the invitation of Kano Fred Mwesje. He brought him in in his capacity as the managing director. And without due diligence to follow the procurement regulations. So if the contract was terminated in the interest of the state, what could we have done? So it's unfortunate that his uh, fellow colleagues turn around and say, Moesiji did this and this. I will not rest until this matter is finalized and my name is cleared. It is upon the investigating authority to produce evidence that by inviting investors in this country you commit a crime. The report also wants Justice Bile Kainamura, the former Solicitor General, to be reprimanded alongside Erika Ruhanga of the Kampa Associated Advocates, who it holds liable for causing a loss of taxes amounting to 3.2 billion as a result of disguising the compensation in a consent judgment as a special damages in order to evade taxes. And not only that, Parliament did not get a conviction that Kampala Associated Advocates did pass this money to the uh, beneficiary client. Because when we asked this information, Mr. Eli Karuhanga was very evasive. It also provides that the famous Kampala Associated Advocates has with immediate effect to be blacklisted from all government contracts for defrauding the country under dubious dealings with the Attorney General adding as part of its evidence that many of the associates of Kampala Associated Advocates are former employees of the Attorney General's office.